Good evening, and welcome back to 30 at 6 on Cecil TV. Today is Monday, February 10th. I'm Allison Donnelly. And I'm Rob Churnside. And who do we have here, Allison? Oh, this is Chief Donnelly. This is our golden retriever, Chief and this Donnelly. is his television debut. So <laughs> Don't be fooled. He's here for the Jerusalem artichokes. He runs artichokes. the house, right? He does. So when the yes. household is counted at a census, is Chief will have to be counted then. I think so, and we'll all have to, we'll have to explain our relationship to him. Right, okay. <laughs> well, the, you know, the census is coming up. Yes, the census is coming up, and it's very important as we've, we've talked to, so we have Tom Kenny on tonight. Um, you'll be talking to him about how to sign up as an enumerator, which is a census taker. Um, but I thought we should talk a little bit about why it's so important for the average yeah, household uh, to uh, 20, get involved. 2010 was the last one, 10 years ago. Right. I don't remember doing anything. I don't either. I was a kid. In general, ju not just in general. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, important. It, it's important for funding or something, right? Yeah, so the, the census determines, or the, the number of people that the census counts in a, in a given area determines how much funding um, the area receives for education and infrastructure projects and also our rep representation at the state and federal levels. That is extremely important. important. So April 1st is Census Day. Yes. And I'll be getting something in the mail. Yeah, so 95%, vast majority of people get um, the, will receive their census invitation by mail. Um, and that, that will uh, tell people to go online to fill it out. And so you get, <laughs> you get six opportunities to respond by mail. And if you don't respond by mail, or if you don't respond to one of those six, then an enumerator is going to come knocking on your door. And that's what Tom's going to tell us about, enumerators. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like turbinators, but not. Not at yeah. all. Friendly right. people. Friendly just people. just want the information, yeah. basic information, too. Yeah. Yeah. He was just telling us that, I didn't realize this, that the, 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 because of Title 13, um, which is a law that has passed since the previous census, the, um, there's no personal, no really personal information. There's your name and your, your birth date and a few other things, and then information about your relationships with other people in the household. But That should really cool out a lot of people who are leery about being involved in the census. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see how many, just how many people we have in Cecil County now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I know... I, I thought the last count was about 100,000 households, but as we also learned from Tom, um, the last time around there was a 30% non-response rate, which means we lost out on, well, we, well, he'll tell us. Yeah, cool. Anyway, <laughs> that's Valentine's Day's coming up. Yeah, yeah, I know. I heard you have, you've got some household chores going on. Well, I'm going to make your honeydew if, list. If you enjoy this, you're my tester. This is my Jerusalem artichoke oh, project. Oh, oh, so I'm thinking about waking my wife some of this for Valentine's Day, lovely dinner. But oh, I want to make sure it's okay first. Okay, now, look, I'm happy you might to be leery. This is a Jerusalem artichoke. Right, we learned about Just, this last week. You saw week. me picking it. Mm -hmm. Howdy, Rob Churnside here for Cecil TV. Digging in my Cecil soil, I found something that looks like this. You can see attached to it. That little tuber. This was once a nice little flower that looked like a little baby sunflower. It's called a Jerusalem artichoke. Look for where the roots are and dig. You'll find them. I'm gonna tell you how to cook them and eat them. Mmm. So that's raw. They're tasty raw. Yeah? Crunchy. Hmm. So try what I cooked there. So what did you tell us about this? It has garbanzo beans, mm -hmm. tofu, spices, and yes. onions. Okay. And Jerusalem artichokes, which I nice. sauteed. They're kind of potato-like. Mm-hmm. But they're sweet. They have a sweetness to them. Hmm. Yeah. Like a, like a little bit of a spice, too. And, yep. And you can just go out and collect them. They're, they look like little tall baby sunflowers, about like that. And they grow like... By cornfields and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and uh, mm, they're, they're pretty good. I like and it. this is like something I'd make for lunch. They've been used in a lot of different cultures, and you can make alcohol out of them too. Hmm. Have you tried that? No. Oh. 
No, we're just going to stick with the food. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> food for thought, eh? Yeah. So what else is going on? Waiting for spring. My daffodils are up. Great. And uh, there's no snow for Cecil County in my phone, anyway. I have not seen any. There's quite a bit of rain this week. Um, and then I think it's supposed to get colder toward the end of the week. Something that we should mention is the citizens, the, the meeting where citizens can provide input on the budget is tomorrow evening at the administration building at 6 p.m. So that would be Tuesday, the 11th of February. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so if you have thoughts or opinions about how um, our tax dollars should be spent in Cecil County in the next fiscal year, you should head over to the County Administration Building tomorrow. We'll be there. Good deal. All right. Great. We'll be back.